In the diagram below, AB, this symbol right here, means line AB is parallel, this is parallel, to line CD, and line EF intersects both lines. So let's find those. AB, right here, A to B, is parallel to CD, there's CD. EF intersects both, here's EF, so that's the transversal. What is the measure of angle Y? Okay, well, we know that this is 30 degrees, which means its corresponding angle right here in the same position at the intersection also equals 30 degrees, right? At our first intersection, this is the lower left angle. At our second intersection, this is the lower left angle, so they have to be equal. They're called corresponding angles, and when you have two parallel lines or more two or more parallel lines cut by the, a transversal, all corresponding angles are equal. It's just saying that the transversal is going to hit each parallel line at the same angle if the lines are parallel, and that, that makes sense if you look at it. You can even see it. So, so this angle plus y form this straight line, and a straight line has 180 degrees. So the mystery angle y plus 30 has to give us 180 and y has to equal 150. And that's just because 150 plus 30 is 180. So here the answer is D, 150 degrees. All right, hope that helped.